Oh, hello there. <laughs> Fancy seeing you here in the garden. How long have you been waiting? Not too long, I hope. Hi, everybody. This is Mr. Duncan in England. How are you today? Are you OK? I hope so. Are you happy? I hope you are feeling happy today. <laughs> I'm feeling happy and also wet. <laughs> As you may have noticed already, it is raining. As I mentioned yesterday, of course, I did say that the weather forecast was not very good for today. And guess what? They were right. <laughs> the weather isn't very good. We've had rain for the past hour. However, according to my satellite photographs that I got off the Internet earlier, it looks as if the forecast is for dry weather after around about 215 so we might have dry weather it might stop raining in around about 10 minutes from now so I won't have to use my umbrella for the whole of this live stream anyway here we are as a large passenger plane goes over my house obviously some people have decided to go on holiday they are going away somewhere nice it sounds like Maybe they are going to a place that is sunny and warm. Mm. Anyway, here we are. This is one of our special extra English live streams. So this is extra English. I normally do my live streams on Sunday, Wednesday and Friday. However, today I'm here with my extra live stream. Something special for July. I thought I would do something special as now we have been doing our live streams for over four years. Four years I've been doing my live streams. And of course, my recorded lessons I've been doing. Well, I've been making those for nearly 14 years, a very long time to be on YouTube. So here we are again. I think the rain is starting to ease off. I think so, maybe. I will put my umbrella down for a moment. <laughs> we will see what happens. So it looks as if the rain has now eased off. Which is very nice, actually. Now I feel much more relaxed talking to you with both hands completely free. <laughs> Do you remember this? Look what I've just found. This is the apple that I showed you the other day. Do you remember the other day? A couple of days ago, I was in the garden and I showed you this apple. And guess what? I've just found it again. This is the same apple. <laughs> How bizarre is that? For those who are wondering, who is this strange man talking on my computer screen? My name is Duncan. I talk about English. I teach English. I like to do live streams I like to talk to you live and that is what I'm doing right now I am live on YouTube Thursday afternoon it is it is just coming up towards 10 minutes past two o'clock I don't know what time it is where you are because I'm not there you see let's have a look at the live chat I'm just wondering how many people are here on the live chat? Let's have a look, shall we? <laughs> Come on, live chat. Show me what you've got. Who is here today? Now, normally it takes a few moments for this to start, you see. So I have to press that button. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> and... I think we have that. Yes, I think we have it. The live stream is now up and running and we have the live chat as well. Very nice to see you here today. Hello to Mosun. Guess what, Mosun? You are first on today's live chat. We also have Abderraham, also Wilson, Richard, Lekleet, and also Sasuke also who else is here Mikel or michael luis mendez is here as well nice to see you here as well as well on the live stream and also the live chat so well done 
A lot of you have very fast fingers today. Very fast fingers indeed. Ah, there I am. I can see my face now. <laughs> Sometimes it feels very strange when I see myself. A couple of days ago, I was looking at some photographs in my email box and I saw some pictures of one of my students watching me on their computer. And I have to be honest, it, it always feels a little bit strange when I see someone watching me in their own home on their computer. So if you have a picture of yourself <laughs> watching me on your computer or wherever you watch me in your house, perhaps you use your mobile phone to watch me, you see. Maybe you use a tablet device perhaps you use your television oh, yes you can watch me on the television by the way if you have one of those fancy TVs one of those fancy televisions that has YouTube built into it then you can do that as well so there are many choices many ways of watching my live streams on YouTube so I hope you're having a good day I'm not too bad thank you very much not too bad at all even though I was panicking this morning, I had a slight panic because, well, I wasn't sure if to come outside or not. So I, I think I made the right decision to come outside. Sometimes it is not easy making decisions because you don't know what the outcome will be. As we all know, every action has a reaction and sometimes your decision can decide what that reaction will be so I wasn't sure whether to come outside and do my live stream or stay in in the house I wasn't sure what to do so instead I decided to risk it I decided to take a risk and come outside so that is what I'm doing right now hello to oh hello also Wilson hello to the English world nice to see you here as well nice to see you all here in fact Beatrice oh hello Beatrice has anyone seen Belarusia now Belarusia told us about something very tragic that happened in her family a couple of days ago and I haven't seen Belarusia since so if anyone knows if Belarusia is all right please let me know uh, I haven't heard anything from Belarusia. Now, I was going to send an email, but I thought maybe it was a little bit insensitive if I were to send an email. So I didn't. I didn't send an email. But who knows? Maybe today, perhaps today we will see Belarusia on the live stream. Who knows? Hello, Mika. Mika Ode is watching in Japan. Hello to you as well. Nice to see you here on the live stream. The rain. Yes, I think the rain has stopped. Isn't that amazing? So the. My satellite picture was correct. The rain was about to come to an end. Isn't that good? So my decision today was to come outside, even though I had more than one choice. I could have stayed in the house or come outside. But I did. I came outside. I took the risk. So even though it was raining a little bit, even though it's raining slightly, things are not too bad right now. How are things where you are? How is your Thursday going? Now, of course, normally on Thursday, I'm not here normally. You can catch me with my English Attic lessons on Sunday, Wednesday and Friday. That is when I am on YouTube. So today it is open go. When I say open go, it means we are doing a spontaneous stream. It might rain. This tree might fall on my head. Who knows? Who knows what will happen today? Who knows? Vitas is here. Hello, Vitas. Nice to see you back as well. It is always nice to see people return. Prashant hello Prashant <laughs> hello to you 
nice to see you here as well hello also to oh we have Marcelo here as well today we are talking about all sorts of things anything you want to talk about tomorrow is a very big day here in England because from tomorrow you will have to wear your face mask so from tomorrow you will have to cover your face if you are going into the shop or into the supermarket or in a place where there are many people perhaps public transport so anywhere where there are many people together you will have to wear your face covering here in England from tomorrow it will be very interesting to see who actually who actually observes that rule who actually goes along with it who actually obeys that rule because I'm not sure how you police it how do you how do you get people to wear masks now apparently some people are being told that they don't have to wear masks and some people are being told that they do for example if you go into a restaurant to eat food you don't have to wear a mask even if there are lots of people in in the restaurant with you however if you go into a shop where there are where there are still people there are people in the shop and in the restaurant so if you go into the shop you do have to wear a mask <laughs> so as you can see it is all rather confusing but from tomorrow from tomorrow you will have to wear your mask you have no choice it will be very interesting very interesting to see what happens very interesting indeed hello Juan Yuin. hello to you why do you learn English why do you learn English there are many reasons why you learn English English is something that can help you with your life it can open lots of doors it can bring many opportunities your way so there are many reasons why learning English is a good thing it is a very good idea Twan Nguyen Sun says hello right now I am chatting with you on my computer it is interesting actually where you are actually watching me where are you watching me at the moment are you using your mobile phone something like this are you using a large tablet device maybe a laptop or perhaps a PC maybe you are sitting in front of your desktop computer or maybe you are you're sitting in your living room relaxed watching me on your television set <laughs> I hope I hope my big face isn't too scary on your television set I really hope so why do you have to learn English you don't have to learn it but it is a very useful thing to have because as you travel around the world you will find that more and more people use English as a second language it is a common means of communicating it is a very useful thing because it allows people to communicate with each other and if there's one thing the human race needs especially at the moment it is communication people should always talk to each other I believe that a good relationship relies on communication so that is maybe a marriage maybe in a family perhaps also around the world when people are talking generally about different subjects or issues so you see there are many uses of English many things that English is actually good for in Vietnam we don't have to wear masks because we are safe here yes some countries have relaxed their laws some people are now walking around as normal but here in England from tomorrow you will have to wear a face mask some sort of covering over your face if you are going into a shop but if you are in a restaurant you don't 
very strange very unusual another thing I've thought about as well I know I have these strange thoughts in my head sometimes what about all the waste now all of these masks and all of the personal protection equipment all of the things that people have to wear what about all of that waste where does it go lots of plastic lots of different material that is disposable it means you can throw it away so what happens to all of that you don't need me to tell you that over the past few years we have been talking a lot about plastic and waste and the way in which it is disposed of so it will be interesting to see how all of those masks and all of that personal protection equipment the gowns the coverings the masks how all of that is disposed of and where it is actually disposed of hello Beatrice Beatrice says I'm using my mobile phone because with the computer your video has a little bit of delay yes quite often you will find delay when you are broadcasting live there is always a slight delay have you ever noticed when you are watching the news and maybe a person is in another place reporting live and you will always find there is a slight delay between what the person says and also the other person at the other end so when I ask a question to another person and they are in another place maybe another part of the world there is normally around four or maybe five second delay so there is five seconds between me saying it and them hearing it so you can have something called latency latency is something you get when you do something live so you always have a slight delay there is a slight delay we have Rosa here Ricardo hello Ricardo nice to see you here as well actually if we disarm against the bug it is a coward and also treacherous I think what you mean by that is if we if we give up or if we stop being aware of the bug it might be a bad thing huh, can you believe it can you see what's happening the Sun the Sun is coming out now <laughs> I can't believe it we are having some crazy weather this summer so not only have we just had rain but now <laughs> we have sunshine and you might also be able to hear one of my neighbors far away has decided to start using their power tool I think they are cutting their bushes with their noisy machine that is what is going on just over there not very far away <laughs> oh hello Unicarina mr. Duncan when I was in England I saw some very old iron bins when you say bins do you mean uh, trash cans Prasant or Prashant says have you ever watched Life of Pi I've never seen the movie completely I've seen bits of the movie but I haven't seen all of it but there are some very interesting special effects some very interesting CGI in that particular movie can you show me your apple tree well the apple tree is just behind me there it is in fact you might be able to see the apples on the tree there are many apples this year I don't know why but this year we have a lot of apples on the apple tree and to think mr. Steve wanted to cut this tree down two years ago Steve wanted to chop this tree down and I said no you can't you cannot I won't allow you <laughs> I want to protect the life of this tree <laughs> how about doing a live stream about animals and enjoy yourself 
from all studying the new words it's a good idea actually yes I suppose I could there are many animals around here and I have mentioned that before there are many animals living around here hello Irfan Irfan Ali hello to you nice to see you love you from Pakistan sir thank you very much it's very kind of you to say Mr. Duncan, the weather is nicer in the UK than in Spain. Here, there, it is too hot, almost unbearable. It is amazing. We are having a very cool, very wet summer. However, in other parts of the world, many people are having very warm or very hot and dry summers. For example, in the United States and across Europe as well, including Spain. Many places are having very dry summers. Can you suggest some novels for beginners? What I would say is if. When you are trying to to learn to maybe read or understand English, I think it is always best to read something that you have an interest in. I know I've mentioned this before. But if you have an interest in something, I always think it is much easier to learn because you have a genuine interest in that thing. So I would always say that it is a good thing to to read books, read novels, read stories about things you are interested in. Maybe a certain type of book or story with a certain theme. And of course, don't read something that's too difficult to read. So maybe if you read something that has lots of long words, then I would avoid that. But there are many novels, many books, short stories. One of my favourite authors when I was younger was Raymond Bradbury, because I like science fiction. And Raymond Bradbury used to write lots of short stories science fiction stories so they weren't very long stories so if you like science fiction i would suggest maybe an author like raymond bradbury he wrote a lot of science fiction and a lot of stories fantasy stories i suppose fantasy stories but some of them were short stories so they are very easy to digest they are very easy to take in Palmyra says now I am idle because of my outgoing from home. I have to do nothing except join Mr. Duncan's chat. You make it sound like a bad thing. <laughs> you make it sound like it's some sort of punishment. Maybe it is. Perhaps that's what happens. Maybe some people are punishing maybe their children or their relatives or their husband and they are making them watch this. So this might be a form of punishment for all I know. I don't know. Palmyra, I will keep you company during these strange times. I will be with you tomorrow as well. Don't forget tomorrow live with English addict number 101. Did you see me yesterday? I was doing my English addict episode 100 yesterday. Ooh. Mohammed Ahmed. To all the students of Mr. Duncan, if you experience the following symptoms. Quarantine yourself at home and follow the instructions given by the medical team. Yes, there are many symptoms, many things that might be signs of illness. But there are some people who show no symptoms. They have no symptoms so there is no way of knowing if they have the virus or not so yes it can be very hard to detect in fact the best way to detect it is to have some sort of test they normally take a sample from up your nose which actually looks rather painful have you had the test they normally take something and they they push it up into your nose. Can I just say it does not look very pleasant? <laughs> it 
it does not look very pleasant at all oh we have pedro belmont pedro belmont is here today i'm in the garden it's wet it's been raining <laughs> it's been pouring down today so i i really hope i really hope the rain will now stay off for a while it will stay off even though i think it's trying to rain again typical hello to oh hello also manas hello manas i think the helicopter is for mr steve maybe it is <laughs> maybe it's youtube trying to find me so they can cut my internet wire and stop me broadcasting here oh. lisa can hello lisa can can you can you really may i say something mr duncan lisa you may say something as long as it's polite but please don't ask my age because everyone keeps asking my age everyone asks mr duncan mr duncan how old are you so you can ask ask a question if you want don't worry lisa lisa can you may in fact you can <laughs> hello to oh pedro and oh we also have uh, luis mendez again new unicarina says i would like to have a walk in salisbury or salisbury i always say salisbury and it isn't that it's salisbury i would like to have a walk in salisbury right now it's a beautiful place with crystalline water so something that is crystalline is clear it is clear like crystal shimmers it shimmers it shines it's clear just like crystal and also there are little ducks and i like to be close to nature i would like to retire in salisbury salisbury is a lovely place we've been there as well salisbury cathedral it's the most amazing building now I, I am a big fan of old buildings and also old churches i like visiting old churches i don't know why churches cathedrals anything like that an old building there is something very strange about going inside a building where you know lots and lots of people have been maybe for the past 100 200 maybe even 500 years so there is something very strange about going into a very old building and in this country many of the really old buildings are churches because they were built a long time ago and they were built very well <laughs> they were built of solid stone so it is often the case where you might find yourself in a small village or town and you will come across a beautiful church and quite often these churches are maybe three or four hundred years old incredible and there is something strange have you ever been to an old building and you put your hand on maybe part of the building maybe maybe the old stones and you will put your hand on the stone and you feel it and you think wow that stone has been laid by a person whoever carved that stone whoever placed that stone there is now long since dead and yet here it is the building still stands it's incredible i don't know what's happening today there are helicopters everywhere <laughs> i'm starting to think maybe it is youtube perhaps youtube are trying to find me i think so <laughs> bow die can i how can i learn english in a good way well when you say good uh, i suppose you mean effective an effective way so effective learning well my advice is the same advice i always give you have to do 
the thing that you are learning every day you have to study it every day you have to spend a certain amount of time doing that thing so learning English is just like learning anything you have to put a lot of time effort enthusiasm into doing it whatever it is listening reading understanding and of course speaking as well it takes time you can't rush these things I know there are many people on YouTube they say here watch my video you can learn English in two hours you can't you can't learn English in two hours <laughs> they are they are tricking you they are getting you to click on their video maybe I should try that maybe I should start doing clickbait yes you see that is the problem you see because I'm so honest and I never like to mislead you with my videos most people think well I'm not watching that there's nothing happening there's no naked people there's no swearing there's nobody being hateful towards other people so I'm not going to watch that lesson clickbait there are many people on YouTube who want you to click on their videos and they will say anything they will show anything to get you to click on that actual video hello dear people from all over the world I hope you enjoy this day thank you Helena that's very kind of you to say very kind indeed Palmyra says I am not a religious person but I always attend churches so when you say attend do you mean visit visit churches or do you mean that you actually go to church to to sit through the service so do you attend church services or do you just like visiting churches I do I love visiting churches there is actually a video on my YouTube channel where I went to Litchfield Litchfield Cathedral a wonderful place a very old building <laughs> I am very interested in old buildings in churches says Barong here in much Wenlock we have we have the ruins ruins so when we say ruins we mean a building that has collapsed or maybe has almost vanished but maybe there are pieces of the building still left we call them ruins ruins mm -mm -mm -mm. what do you do in your spare time to avoid mr steve's jokes i'm not sure actually well to be honest with you I've become very accustomed to Mr Steve's jokes so to be honest they don't bother me anymore I'm very used to Mr Steve's jokes and his strange ways by the way this morning I did some washing I put some some washing in the washing machine and I started the washing machine so it was doing its thing like that and then Mr. Steve came downstairs and he, he shouted my name. He said, Duncan, Duncan, Mr. Duncan, where are you? And I said, what's the matter now, Steve? What's wrong? He says, there is foam coming out of the washing machine. It is coming out of the top of the washing machine. It is going everywhere. And I said, yes, it happens sometimes just calm down Mr Steve stop panicking so what happened is because the water was hot and also there there was some soap inside the washing machine there was lots of foam so when you wash something you normally have lots of white foam and quite often it is very hard to get rid of so that's what happened this morning the washing machine was working okay it was working fine no problem but there was foam coming out the top where where the drawer is so there's normally a little place where you put washing powder and all of the foam was coming out of there and Steve was really panicking <laughs> he 
he got into such a panic in fact you might say that he got he got into a lather <laughs> uh, okay you see that that is an awful joke but mr steve sometimes steve does panic quite a lot he does he panics so he was panicking this morning because there was some foam coming out of the washing machine but it was nothing serious nothing to worry about everything was all right i would like to go to stonehenge ah yes well you have to go a long way from here it is a very long way i think it's wiltshire so stonehenge is a very long way away from here it is probably maybe three maybe four hours if you were driving all the way to Stonehenge from here so we are a very long way from there Beatrice Mr Duncan have you ever been to Mamelsbury I wonder where Mamelsbury oh okay then I've never heard of Mamelsbury Mamelsbury hmm interesting I might look that up on the map later I will have a look for that there is a very old cathedral and also the old bell hotel apparently it is the oldest hotel in England and I was having afternoon tea there what was it like inside so did it look old inside or was it modern inside me Mamelsbury I will try to find that I'm going to have a look at that I've never heard of the place I've never heard of Mamelsbury okay something else for me to do today another new thing for me to learn about my own country <laughs> Mr Duncan the word clickbait doesn't have any direct translation to Spanish you might also say that something is misleading so a thing that appears to promise something but actually doesn't deliver it so it promises something but it doesn't actually deliver what it says it promises hmm. Vitas there are many churches in our city almost all of the gothic style yes well i suppose one of the the most traditional appearances of old buildings we often talk about gothic styles gothic cathedrals and i can't believe i can't believe there was another fire in france at the weekend another cathedral caught fire and they seem to think that someone started it deliberately can you believe that can you believe a person actually setting fire to anything a building or a house anything a tree a field anything can you believe that some people will actually start fires think of the danger think of the damage think of the risk crazy so not only was there a fire a couple of years ago in fact it was last year wasn't it yes there was another one at the weekend terrible so i hope they catch the people that did it i hope they will catch them tao lee says this is the first time that i've watched your live stream welcome thank you for joining me today thank you very much it's very nice to see you I miss many videos from you I am from Vietnam well Tao Li you are welcome you are welcome <laughs> how young are you Mr Steve uh, Mr Duncan that's me by the way I'm Mr Duncan Mr Steve is upstairs working he he isn't in a very good mood today can I just tell you Steve is not in a good mood he has a lot of work to do mm. that's all I'm saying that's all I'm saying Steve is feeling the pressure today he's feeling the pressure of his job 
are there any cattle at the back of your house well normally there there are cows at the moment but I think today I think the cows are staying somewhere where they are protected from the rain so maybe they are sitting under a tree they are somewhere where the rain will not affect them even cows don't like getting wet so if it rains the cows will try their best they will try their best to avoid the rain even the cows even the cows don't like the rain at all racer hello racer oh I think I'm going to sneeze how strange what is the newest word in English selfie or is that already too old I think the word selfie is actually quite old I think so so when a person takes a selfie they take a photograph of themselves on their on their phone you see like now shall I take a photograph of me with you would you like me to take a photograph of me with you okay then wait there a moment I will try my best I will take a photograph of us together okay so I will wait I will take a, so a selfie that's what I want to call it <laughs> so here we go I'm going to take a selfie of us so don't forget to smile all right I will put my arm around you and we will take a selfie together <laughs> ready smile <laughs> did you enjoy that I hope you put on your best smile so that was a, a lovely photograph let's have a look shall we oh yes yes there we go there is the picture I just took oh isn't that lovely yes I, I I'm not sure about you though because you're not smiling I'm smiling but you're you're not smiling why why, why are you not smiling <sighs> I'm never right I'm never right maybe my mum was correct when she said there's something wrong with you she might be right say cheese yes a lot of people say cheese when they're having a photograph taken because they like to smile so if you say cheese you will smile <sighs> very nice <laughs> Vitas says I am not much of an architecture connoisseur well nor nor am I I I'm not I'm not an expert on buildings but there is something interesting there is something very interesting about being close being close to an old building because you think of all of the moments all of the moments of time that have passed all of the people that have been inside that building all of the people who have walked through been in there and of course all of the people who built the structure in the first place amazing amazing <laughs> Thomas says my daughter says cheese smells if I take a photo of her cheese smells so maybe if you're not careful you won't have a smile on your face you will have a sort of strange cheese smells so maybe your your expression will not be happy but yes people do say cheese I remember in Chinese even in Chinese they say chiaz or cheese which is the same thing I suppose you are always very kind with me I try my best I really do I try to be kind hello hello magaz I like your sense of humor thank you very much British humor you see what you are sampling here what you are listening to the thing you are experiencing is British humor this is how British people like to have fun you see sometimes we do very unusual things like sometimes you might find a man will dress as a woman 
British humour, you see. British humour is very interesting. Perhaps we will talk more about that tomorrow. Some interesting parts of British humour. Shall we talk about that tomorrow? I think that's a good idea. So I will show you some examples tomorrow of British humour. And some of it is very unusual, very odd. Mohammed Ahmed, can you please tell me what is the difference between receipt and bill? Thank you very much. Yes, yesterday we were talking about going to the supermarket. We were talking about all sorts of words connected with going to the supermarket. So when you buy something from the supermarket, they will normally give you a receipt. So the receipt is given after you pay. So you, you, you pay and then you get a receipt. However, a bill is normally something you receive before you pay. So a receipt is given after you pay. The bill is normally given before you pay. So the bill is given to you and then you pay. A receipt is something you are given after you pay. I hope that explains it for you. I hope so. <laughs> I never did get that. What happened to the question, by the way? What happened to the question? There was a question. But I never saw it. It never came. No, it never came. I never saw the question. Can I ask you a question? And then and then there was no question. I was wondering what the question was. I'm thinking now. I'm thinking what the question might be. <laughs> I wonder what. I wonder what she wanted to ask me. I wonder what the question was. Oh, I see. When we take a picture, we say whiskey. Whiskey. Oh, OK. Whiskey. Oh, yes, I suppose so. Whiskey. Whiskey. So when you take a photograph, some people say cheese. Cheese. Some people say whiskey. Whiskey. Like that. Hello also, Valentin, Valentina. Talking about Venice. Yes, well, Venice is one of those places that at the moment is under threat. Oh, can you see the cows? The cows are behind me. You wanted to see the cows and the cows have come to say hello. Hello, cows. Hi. So the cows are now behind me. They are coming across the field. <laughs> can you see them? I can. I can see them. I can also smell them as well. Yeah. <laughs> Hello, cows. I can see you going past the house. I can. Can you show us something about your house? <laughs> well, you can see my garden. That's no problem. And sometimes I will show you the inside of my house. But not today because we are outside. We are outside the house today. Mr. Duncan, are you a lover of cash or not? When you say cash, what do you mean? Do you mean cash as in just having cash or having money or do you mean do I like carrying cash do I like carrying cash I don't normally carry cash in fact it's very unusual for me to have any cash in my pockets because nowadays most people will pay for their things on credit cards or debit cards so i i don't have credit cards to be honest i i don't borrow money and i have no credit cards at all so i don't i don't owe money to anyone so i suppose i'm quite lucky in that respect so i i, I have a debit card i have a debit card i have a business 
debit card as well so because I have to sometimes spend money on this doing this I have to spend money so that's what I will do can you tell me the topic of the apple doesn't fall far from the tree hang my I mentioned that yesterday when we say that the apple doesn't fall very far from the tree we are saying that the child is very similar to the parent or one of the parents so the apple hasn't fallen very far from the tree it means the the child is very similar to the parents it is often used negatively by the way it is often used in a negative way if a child is maybe I don't know maybe they are <laughs> hello Mr Pigeon <laughs> I thought the pigeon was going to attack me then so if a child is rude maybe the parents are also rude you might say oh we can see that the apple doesn't fall very far from the tree in their family the apple does not fall very far from the tree it means that the child is very similar to the parents quite often in a negative way negative quite often they are cows behind me they are not bulls they are cows by the way behind me you can hear the pigeon there is a pigeon at the moment looking for love mm. it is a lonely pigeon sitting in the bush it is saying come on girls where are you I am a lonely pigeon sitting here all alone and now it's behind me <laughs> the pigeon is now behind me can you see the pigeon there sitting on the fence so the pigeon is now there The pigeon is now singing behind me. Cows! Hello! Hello! Hello, Mr. Cow! Hello, Mr. Pigeon! <laughs> Have you noticed? It is never dull in my garden. There is always something going on in the garden. There is. There is always something happening. Always something happening. Nid hirav ye, nid hirav way, or ye. I have said to my friends that you are teaching English very nicely. They will start watching, and it is good news. Thank you very much. A lot of people do recommend my lessons, my recorded lessons, and also these live lessons as well. Hello. <laughs> the pigeon is now sitting behind me. Are you OK, Mr. Pigeon? Are you looking for a girlfriend? Oh, what a shame. <laughs> there is always something happening in my garden. Always. There is always something happening. Bow Dai says goodbye. I have to go to sleep because it is late good night mr duncan good night bow die and i hope you have sweet dreams and a nice rest we can also say a person is a chip off the old block yes if a person is a chip off the old block it means they are very similar they are very similar to their parents they have very similar characteristics to their parents you are right a chip off the old block <laughs> racer says mr duncan never carries cash so we already know that if we ever see him we won't be able to rob him okay thanks for that <laughs> thank you very much yes i will be very pleased if i'm walking down the road and i see you coming the other way please don't rob me because you won't get anything anyway because I don't normally carry money <laughs> uh, 
I don't normally carry money with me. So that's worth knowing. <laughs> so now you know. Your garden is a treasure chest, a treasure chest. I think it is. You never know what's going to happen next. This garden has seen many things happen. Lots of things, nice things and not so nice things. I've seen many animals killed in this garden by other animals. Normally birds of prey, such as sparrowhawks. So sparrowhawks, there are many predators around here, many animals that are hunting for other animals. We have sparrowhawks, kestrels, also buzzards. We also have buzzards as well. Oh, the pigeon has come back. <laughs> that is one desperate pigeon. Very desperate. I think so. So yes, we have a lot of predators around here. So unfortunately, one of the things I had to learn about living in the countryside is quite often you will see lots of killing animals being killed by other animals, unfortunately. Hello, Abdul or Abdul Wahid. I recently started to watch your videos. Thank you very much. I do have a YouTube channel. Many people forget that I actually make video lessons as well. And over the past 14 years, I've made over 500. And on my YouTube channel, there are lots and lots of playlists. In fact, underneath, if you look under this video, you will see the description and lower down. There is also the playlist as well. So there is a playlist underneath this video you are watching now. And all of my lessons are on there. All of them. You can go through all of the playlists and there are many, many of them. Hello, Mr. Duncan and classmates. Roxy. Hello to Roxy. Nice to see you here today. Thank you very much for joining me. I don't know how long I will be on today, maybe an hour, maybe an hour and a half. So I've been with you now for oh one hour. It is now just after three o'clock. I like your video and I had a doubt what kind of milk you drink. Thank you, Abdul. I often drink milk that doesn't have much fat actually inside it. Semi skimmed milk. However, sometimes I like to treat myself to some full fat milk. Sometimes you have to have full fat milk in coffee, for example. I don't like drinking coffee with with weak milk. Ugh, it's horrible. It's like drinking water. So if I if I make a cup of coffee, I always like to put full cream milk into the coffee and then it tastes delicious. I love it. I like it a lot. So normally I, I drink semi skimmed milk. So there is some fat removed but to be honest with you i really do like eating or drinking should i say full fat milk when i'm eating my cereal in the morning i also like to have a little bit of full fat milk on my cereal it's the best to be honest it is the best it tastes lovely i don't know why i love it you might be surprised to find out how much milk we get through in this house, in this small house, how, how much milk we actually get through. Mr. Steve and myself, we drink a lot of milk. <laughs> Hello, Mr. Duncan, Morocco. Oh, Morocco. Easy to learn. Hello, easy to learn from Morocco. Nice to see you here. <gasps> oh, I would love to go to Morocco one day. Can I come to Morocco and sample some of the food? I think so. I think so. Da -da -da -da. Can you explain idioms? 
idioms and how they can be used hello Nabil idioms a very interesting area of English and I, I suppose in other languages as well I think idioms are used in all languages but sometimes in different ways but yes we use idioms sometimes when we are trying to express the meaning of something in a vivid way or maybe in a poetic way so idioms are often used we, we often use phrases or words and we change the meaning of the word to suit that situation an idiom an idiom mr duncan what is the cheapest market in london i have no idea first of all i don't live in london so i, I don't really know to be honest i know there are lots of markets in london if you go to the centre of London, there are marketplaces, market stalls, areas where fruit, fresh vegetables are sold and lots of other things as well. Oh, by the way, I was asked yesterday if there is a fish shop, a place where you can buy fresh fish here in much Wenlock. There is not. No, you can't buy fresh fish here in much Wenlock, unfortunately. So we don't have a fishmonger. A fishmonger. A fishmonger is a person who sells fresh fish. Normally a small shop. And inside they sell all sorts of different types of fish. However, there is a big fish market in London. A very big fish market. And that is the place where all of the market traders, they will gather in the morning and they will choose the fish. They will choose the fish that they they want to sell on their market stall so there are there is one big fish market in london and there are lots of other people selling fish as well fresh fish to eat but here in much wenlock we don't have one we don't have a fishmonger we have a butcher who sells meat meat products but we don't have a fishmonger unfortunately which is a shame because I quite like fresh fish I will be honest with you salmon <gasps> it's been a long time since we've had salmon I don't know what's happened maybe maybe there is a salmon shortage but we haven't had salmon for a long time I like salmon very much salmon also cod as well <gasps> a nice piece of fresh cod with a little bit of butter on top and maybe some parsley sauce on the side <sighs> very nice yes I like fish I don't eat as much as I used to but I do like eating fish salmon and also cod very nice very nice why are there no fishmongers in your town I don't know why maybe one of the reasons is because there isn't any demand for fresh fish you see because these days you can buy lots of fish frozen so you can go to the supermarket and you can buy fish that is frozen so maybe that's the reason why in certain places you might not find fresh fish being sold you might not find it being sold at all even there was a fly on my lens and it's annoying me oh mr duncan please come to norway we have a lot of fish I might come there now can I come now do you mind if I actually come and visit you in Norway I, I would love to, to try some lovely fresh fish maybe the boat is still coming in and then and then I can go to the boat and actually pick a piece of fish from the boat now that is very fresh very fresh fish if it's <laughs> if it's still on the boat <laughs> that's very fish <laughs> 
very fresh fresh fish I like fresh fish do you like fresh fish <laughs> fresh fish cod yes I think cod is a very nice type of fish for two reasons one the meat is very soft and it's very easy to eat and also quite often you work it, it is it is very easy to get the bones out so one of the things I don't like about eating fresh fish of course are the bones inside because I always feel afraid perhaps I will swallow one of the bones and it will get stuck in my throat and then I will choke and turn blue so that's one of the reasons why I used to I used to be very afraid of eating fresh fish because I was always worried that maybe I would choke on one of the bones <laughs> I used to hear stories of people who would sit down they would sit down in a restaurant and have a delicious piece of fish and then as they're eating they swallow a bone and start choking and there is no one there to give them any first aid there is no one there to give them the Heimlich manoeuvre Do you like fish and chips with mush, mushy peas? No, I don't like mushy peas. I don't like mashed peas. I don't. I don't like mashed peas. Oh, I see. <laughs> M. Youssef says, oh, like my husband. So maybe your husband, has your husband ever choked on a fish bone? It's one of my fears. One of my fears is eating fish and choking on the bone especially if it's in a restaurant if it's in a restaurant it's even worse because it's very embarrassing as well I think it's very embarrassing choking on food in a public place <laughs> the shame the shame of it Jade says at the market they gave me a lot of broccoli for free I think broccoli is a very interesting vegetable because many people don't like broccoli they don't like eating it they find broccoli horrible they find broccoli <laughs> what is going on on my screen something very strange just happened on my screen very interesting what was that I, oh very interesting I'm distracted there broccoli yes a lot of people don't like broccoli a lot of people say broccoli I don't like it at all but I like broccoli I will be honest with you I do like broccoli you can have you can have cod with potatoes and maybe a little bit of broccoli on the side so you can have broccoli with many things so I do I like broccoli I don't mind it I love broccoli but there are many people who don't like broccoli in the same way that they don't like Brussels sprouts as well so a lot of people don't like Brussels sprouts or broccoli but broccoli is actually very good for you it is actually very good for your health if you eat broccoli it's very good for you Michael Michael or Michael says I don't like broccoli very much hmm Sarah hello Sarah Al Harthy or oh. tuna is delicious and easy to eat tuna that is another fish that's quite nice oily it's very oily so I do like tuna tuna is very nice I think I think tuna might be one of the most popular types of fish I might be wrong I'm not a fish expert but I, I, I remember seeing something many years ago about tuna. I think tuna is one of the most popular types of fish. Tuna and cod. So I think those two are actually the most popular types of fish. I think so. My daughter loves broccoli together with fish and pasta and also white sauce. William von Baskerville 
very interesting yes you can have fish with so many things fish with rice so normally on Sunday what we used to have we haven't had it for a long time we used to have salmon fresh salmon with rice and also sweet potatoes as well and then Mr. Steve would put some tomatoes some small tomatoes on top of the salmon and also some herbs and some garlic as well and very delicious very nice so normally we would we would put the the salmon in the oven we would put it into a glass pot and then we would put it in the oven for about 30 minutes 30 minutes 40 40 minutes maybe you have to be very careful when you're cooking salmon it is very easy to overcook salmon and if you overcook the salmon it, it goes very hard it's not easy to eat so you have to make sure that you don't overcook you don't cook the salmon too much Mary says I love salmon with rice and avocado yes you see you are right there yes with rice you see salmon and rice it goes together very well <laughs> making me hungry to be honest oh by the way tonight I think tonight we will have to wear our masks because we're going for a Chinese meal so tonight we are having a Chinese takeaway from the local Chinese takeaway in much Wenlock but I think tonight we will have to wear our masks I think so so that's what we're having to eat tonight we are having our very healthy vegetable chow mein real broccoli is very expensive here in Italy it is quite cheap says Valentina <laughs> Borak says Mr Duncan I'm so hungry please stop talking about food I beg you okay let's stop talking about food there is nothing worse than talking about food when you are hungry <laughs> M Youssef yes we normally cook salmon for around about 30 minutes and then we cook it with rice and also maybe mashed potatoes mashed mashed potatoes <gasps> my favorite food by the way is mashed potatoes potatoes that are mashed with a little bit of milk and a little bit of butter you mash the potatoes my favorite food my most favorite food if I could have a last meal if I if I was ever in a situation <laughs> where I was offered my last meal I think my last meal would be a big plate of mashed potatoes I think so William von Baskerville by the way did you say you live in Wenlock much Wenlock is the name of the place much Wenlock so it actually has two words in the name much much Wenlock much Wenlock yes it is it is near Telford not very far away from Telford and also very close to a place called Ironbridge Ironbridge is a very famous place around the world that is the place where the first ever iron bridge was built a lot of people say that around here was the birthplace of the industrial revolution right here so just up the road from my house is where the industrial revolution began around the world and everything changed from that point and here I am now standing in the garden talking to you on YouTube one of the things I don't like I do like I do like fish but I don't like seafood when I say seafood I mean prawns Ugh. oh dear Ugh. makes me feel sick thinking about it to be honest if I think about prawns I feel sick 
prawns or crabs crabs have you ever had crab Ugh. lobster is another one I don't like shellfish so I don't like shellfish I like fish that swim like that but I don't like shellfish that walk around like this I'm not a very big fan of those to be honest <laughs> how many kilograms is this cow I have no idea I am not very good at guessing the weight of people and I'm definitely not very good at guessing the weight of cows I don't know how heavy it is I'm not going to ask because it's very rude <laughs> you should never ask a cow how heavy she is because you might get a slap in the face <sighs> hello collard hello collard collard abdel nasser collard abdel nasser nice to see you here on the live chat thank you very much for joining us i like to eat lobsters it is so nice I've tried it yes I've tried lobsters but I always feel very uncomfortable because I know that when they cook them they cook them alive I don't like to think of that to be honest makes me feel a very makes me feel very strange oh yes M Youssef very good that is a good idea a good suggestion there yes the same as me I don't like octopus or squid Ugh. it's disgusting how can people eat squid with their long legs and they they sometimes cut them up into little slices oh I can't do that I'm sorry no so shellfish crabs oysters lobster um, also squid I can't eat squid Ugh. Even the name makes me feel sick. So, oh. Mr. Duncan, what is the name of a baby cow? The baby cow is called a calf. C A L F. I might write that down. Let's see if I can write that down. Oh. Calf. So a baby cow is called a calf. Calf. A little cow is called a calf. I hope that helps. Squid. Oh, I don't know. What, what, what is that other thing? What is the other thing? Is it cal calamari? Calamari. Am I right there? Is that the right pronunciation? Calamari. There, there's a type of seafood, and I think it is a type of squid. But instead of calling it squid, they call it calamar calamare or calamari. I think you often find it in Italian food, but I, d I don't like that. I'm sorry. I can't. Even the smell. Fish. Yes, I like. I like fish, cod, and also salmon, tuna. Quite nice, but not not shellfish crabs no way no way calamari yes I, I i can't eat that it's just ugh. it makes me feel very strange when i think about it even now standing here i'm talking to you now and in my mind i can see a great big octopus going by And to be honest with you, even that makes me feel sick. <laughs> even that makes me feel strange. Sh shrimp. Ugh. How can people eat shrimp? They are so. Ugh. They 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 look like uh, like big worms. And one of the worst things about shrimp is it shrimp or prawns? You have to. Oh, I think it's shrimp. You have to. You have to get their poo out before you can eat them 
<laughs> you have to you have to get them and you have to you have to push push the poo out of them and then you eat them sorry Ugh. all of that makes me feel rather bad to be honest calamari yes calamari you often see it on the menu but i know what it is they they're trying to trick me you see <laughs> they're trying to trick me into eating octopus but i'm not going to calamari no not going to not going to happen so now you know my taste in fish certain types of fish i like shellfish i don't like it makes me feel very strange <laughs> it's a bit like going into your garden and eating the worms and the snails and the slugs that's what it feels like you see i don't know why it makes me feel very uncomfortable i also hate seafood mr duncan i can't smell them no i don't like the smell of seafood that that's one of the reasons why i probably i would probably never go to a fish market for the same reason imagine the smell the smell of the fish everywhere oh, no valentina what about frogs what about frogs mr duncan have you ever tried eating frogs i haven't i've never eaten a frog ever i know in certain places frogs are a delicacy but i've never eaten them never eaten frogs i suppose i'm trying to think what the what the most unusual thing i've ever eaten what is it what is the most unusual thing I've ever tasted? <laughs> I, I, I've been offered some strange food. When I was in China, I was offered some very strange food. Squirrel. There was a restaurant in China where I was living and they had squirrel on the menu. You could eat squirrel. In fact, a few years ago here in the UK, eating squirrel was actually quite popular. I'm not joking. I am not joking. Eating squirrel was popular here in the UK. Supermarkets were selling squirrel. What can you say? I could never eat a frog. M. Youssef says, for us in our religion, we can't eat frogs. So in many religions, you will find animals are quite significant as symbols or deities. So, yes, there is a lot of uh, symbolism of, of creatures, animals. If you go to Egypt of course you will see the sphinx which looks very similar to an animal it is half woman half is it half cat or half dog <laughs> i've never been to egypt you see i've never i've never had a close look at the sphinx to be honest but i i know i know even in egyptian hieroglyphics you will see animals cats and dogs Lil says eating dogs is popular in China. Well, it isn't popular in China. It is popular in small regions of China. Normally in the south of China, there are some places where they eat dogs. However, they are farmed. So these are dogs that are actually farmed in exactly the same way as cows or sheep. So they are farmed in the same way. But no, not all over China. I've lived there, so I know what I'm talking about. <laughs> not all Chinese people eat dogs. Yes, some people, certain parts, certain areas, small areas of China, but not the whole of China. You see, you have to be careful. That's a bit like saying that everyone in England eats fish and chips. It isn't true, you see. 
every religion has different eat eating culture yes this is something I noticed I noticed when I I used to visit Malaysia and during the certain religious festivals there would be certain food that was served and certain food that was not served as well Barack Mr Duncan have you ever eaten dog in China no I haven't I have not where I lived there 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 wasn't <laughs> there wasn't the desire for people to eat dog to be honest so no I didn't there was a restaurant that I went to and they had squirrel on the menu as I mentioned a few moments ago they had squirrel and also snake as well snake how do you eat a snake <laughs> where do you begin which end which end do you start with which end do you start at with a snake how do you eat a snake it must be like having a giant piece of spaghetti maybe you have to suck it like that perhaps I've never eaten a snake. I've never eaten a dog. In fact, there are many animals I've never eaten. <laughs> That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. Nothing else. Yes, it's amazing. This is one of the things that's interested me over the years, especially when I started traveling to other countries. I realized how important food is in the lives of so many people. It is a very big part of the culture of that country. See, I think in England food isn't as important. I know you might not disagree. You, you might not agree with me, but yes, you, you will find that um, in England, I don't think eating eating doesn't come very high up. It is not a big cultural thing. For example, if you go to France, eating is is like an art form. People will sit for hours. Having their evening di dinner or e evening supper. So quite often, if you sit down in France and have a have a lunch or, or an evening dinner, it can take many hours. There is no rush. Everyone takes their time. No, I haven't eaten any bats or snails. I've never eaten snails, never tried it. <laughs> so thank you, Christian Verde. <laughs> Christian Green, have you eaten bats? No, I haven't. I've never eaten a bat ever. Although a bat has almost eaten me. The experience of having a media conversation in a chat with you about different subjects is amazing. Thank you, Ricardo. That's very kind of you. We all have things in common. One of the things I love about doing this, one of the things I enjoy about doing this is that we get to share the things that we have in common. We spend too much time talking about our differences and disagreements. Those things will always exist. There are always things that we are going to disagree on. However, there are also many things that we do agree on. Things we have in common. Things that connect us. Things that bring us together as human beings. I love that. So that is one of the reasons why I love doing this. Nessa in Muslim religion eating frogs crabs snakes dogs pigs are not permissible to eat again yes food food is something that almost it is a very important part of 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 culture of culture and as i said traveling around the world going to malaysia going to other countries where food it, it, it is almost sacred the, the actual process of sitting down together to eat is, is seen as a very special thing, a very important thing. We usually sit for our... Mm, we usually sit for our... in the north of Spain. July the 25th 
is the national festivity of St. James and most of us celebrate it with a meal. Thank you, Marietta. Yes, I think so. There are there are many things that revolve around food. And this is another thing that I remember from my time in China. I remember the same thing in China. Food is seen as a very important thing, a very precious thing, a very precious commodity, because there were periods of time in the past where shoot where food was in shortage. There were famines across China recently and also in the far distant past as well. So, yes, the Chinese have a very special relationship with food. And one of the things that you will often find when you go to a Chinese festival, a meal or maybe a celebration is there is always lots of food and the food is is plentiful. And I did talk to someone about that and I said, I, I believe from my own point of view, I believe that you you love food so much because there were there were periods of time in your history where food was very scarce. So now you value food very much. You feel as if you must always have lots of food nearby. And the person I was speaking to said, yes. How did you know that? How did you know that? And that is it. So there, there were periods of time where where food was very scarce. You couldn't find food. There was very little food. So I think nowadays people make sure that they always have enough food to eat. So religious festivals, certain times of the year when people get together, I suppose here in England, we get together at Christmas and have lots of food. In the United States, they have Thanksgiving and they get together and they eat lots of food. Mm. I saw a I did see a question have you ever signed have you ever been asked to sign an autograph not here in England but I did in China I would often get stopped in the street in China and people would ask me to sign their textbook or maybe their exercise book Ah, the crazy days of China. Long ago. When I was walking down the road and people would stop me and they would say, I know who you are. Very strange period of time. Not anymore. It doesn't happen here. So when I walk around much, much Wenlock, people don't stop me. They sometimes look at me in a very strange way like this but they never stop me they never stop and ask for an autograph not here anyway <laughs> if you eat a lot of vegetable soup you will not gain weight yes well i think eating healthily is something we all try to do we don't always succeed unfortunately but we try our best we try our best Luis Mendez. Oh, hello, Luis. I haven't ignored you. Don't worry. Snails. It's it's the it is the best thing I've eaten together with a good beer. Snails and beer. They are little snails, not large snails like in France. The Portuguese people are very good. They, they have very good cuisine. They have very good cuisine their way of preparing food Portuguese I didn't see any snails last year when I was in Portugal last year I didn't see any snails being eaten but thanks for telling me Lewis another thing I would never eat I would never eat snails I don't think so what is I don't know what's happening today with the pigeons. They seem to have gone a bit crazy, to be honest. I think the pigeons are losing their minds. <laughs> oh, dear. What is the sound that the pigeon makes? We often call it. C 
cooing, coo. So a pigeon will coo. There it is. <laughs> I think the pigeon was listening to me. <laughs> Can you believe that? <laughs> I have a feeling this pigeon is listening to my live stream. So the pigeon will coo. Like that. Pigeons will coo. They make a sound. That is the sound that they make. They coo. 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 Like that. Chill. English Learn. Hello, English Learn. Can I wave to you? Nice. English Learn. I learn English six hours a day, but I still can't speak properly. Tell me what to do. Learning to speak is the hardest part of learning any language, not only English, but any language, whatever it is. All of the languages, if you are learning it, speaking the language can be the hardest thing to do. One of my little ideas, one of the things I like to do is I like to advise you to record your voice on your phone. If you have a recording device, maybe a tape machine or maybe an MP3 player, you can actually record your voice. I'm going to see if I can do it now. I'm going to try and record something. Of course, the first thing you need is your voice recorder. And it is something I haven't used for a long time. So I'm trying to find it now. Where is my voice recorder? That's strange. I can't find my voice recorder. I haven't used this for a long time, you see. So that might be the reason why. Hmm. I haven't deleted it. I know I haven't deleted it. It's here somewhere. I know it is. It's very annoying. Do you ever find that sometimes you can't find the application on your phone, even though you know it's in there? You know it's you know it's in your phone, but you can't find it. Why can't I find find that? But a very good thing you can do is record your voice. You can record the sound of your voice and then you can play it back. So you record your voice and then you listen to it. And that is something you do again and again and again. You do it many times. So speaking is the hardest part of learning any language. I think it is. Yes, definitely. It is the hardest part of learning any language. Why can't I find my voice recorder? How strange. <laughs> the pigeons have gone crazy today. I don't know why. Maybe they've maybe they've been drinking. Maybe they've been to a party for for one of their pigeon friends. Who knows? Ah, here we go. I found it. Welcome to voice memos. That's the reason why, because there's been an update on my phone, you see. So because they've updated my phone, I, I have to start this application all over again. Isn't that annoying? Welcome to voice memos. Just let me do it. Please let me do it. Here we go. <laughs> I hope this works. If it doesn't work, I'm going to look very silly. Very silly indeed. Here we go then. Let's try it. My voice memo. So this is what you can do, you see, on your phone. You can actually go, Hello there, my name is Mr Duncan. And what I'm doing at the moment is I'm listening to the sound of my voice because I want to hear how good my voice sounds. And over time, I will listen to my voice again and again. And then slowly, I will get used to the sound of my own voice. 
and then one day I won't have to do this because I will be so confident I will be so relaxed I will feel so great because my English will be perfect it will happen one day I know so that's the recording I've just made so you listen to your voice you listen to the recording afterwards like this hello there my name is mr duncan and what i'm doing at the moment is i'm listening to the sound of my voice because i want to hear how good my voice sounds and over time i will listen to my voice again and again and then slowly i will get used to the sound of my own voice and then one day i won't have to do this because i will be so confident i will be so relaxed I will feel so great because my English will be perfect. It will happen one day, I know. Yeah, so that's how you do it. That is it. That is what you do. You listen to the sound of your own voice. You record your voice. You listen to yourself. Hello to Nessar. Which mobile phone do you use? Well, this one, this phone is very old. I've had this for a very long time, this phone. This is an Apple iPhone, but it's the very old Apple iPhone. This is the iPhone 6S, you see. 6S. So this is old. This is starting to slow down because it's not it's not a new one you see it's not a new phone it's not one of those fancy phones one of those big fancy phones unfortunately it is an iPhone 6s however it works it works very well it does work very well there you can see the time the time now it is 346 according to my phone we have another 14 minutes to go. Bao Dai says, Good night, Mr. Duncan. Love you so much. Thank you, Bao Dai. See you later. Take care. Don't forget, I will be with you tomorrow. I'm back tomorrow. 2 p.m. UK time. Tomorrow is Friday, of course. The end of the week. Yeah. And tomorrow we will have some more unusual words some strange English words tomorrow also we will be playing the sentence game tomorrow on Friday <gasps> wow. Wow. mr. Duncan you should film a new series of mr. bean but instead it should be mr. Duncan <laughs> thank you I don't know if that's a compliment is that a compliment I, 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 I Tuan Yuin, I have to go now. See you later, Tuan Yuin. Maybe tomorrow. Tomorrow we will be <laughs> together again. Yes, I have an iPhone 6 and it still works perfectly. Yes, I love this phone. So even though this phone is almost out of date, I think next year Apple will be stopping the support for this phone. So I think from next year there will be no more updates for this phone, which is bad news for me. <laughs> I, I, I like my phone I like my little iPhone 6s it is lovely it is very useful it is nice to have around but unfortunately I think in the future it will stop being supported unfortunately Valentina says I don't have an iPhone but I have a Samsung Samsung make very good phones they do i think so i think you're right please mr duncan could you suggest a textbook with the last edition to use to teach high school students with the last edition i'm not sure what you mean by that when you say the last edition 
there are many exercise books around I'm not here to promote exercise books to be honest you have to be very careful on YouTube so because English exercise books are directly linked to my work I have to be careful when I mention names but there are many good publishers out there many good publishers Oxford University Press I love Oxford University Press very much I think they produce some very good exercise books and also reference books as well I normally use that publisher I find their material to be very reliable but of course you have Cambridge English as well Cambridge English there are many good exercise books relating to certain parts of the English language business English daily grammar everyday use of words so there are many things you can use many things that you can read mr. Duncan I like your hat thank you very much I told you the story of my hat on Tuesday I told you the story of my hat if you missed it you can watch it again I told you the story of my hat Tom X says it's time to wrap up this live stream as it is going downhill oh okay Tom X well <laughs> you know where the door is <laughs> don't let it hit your <laughs> bottom on the way out <laughs> that's what we say it's not very nice is it what a lovely way of speaking to me mr. Duncan you have to wrap up this live stream because it's going downhill it means it is starting to become rubbish thank you very much how lovely I really need those words of encouragement thank you barong I will try recording my voice it is a great way of learning to speak and also to become confident as well it is a very good way to become confident as I demonstrated today with my recording hello there my name is mr. Duncan and what I'm doing at the moment is I'm listening to the sound of my voice because I want to hear how good my voice sounds and over time I will listen to my voice again and again and then slowly I will get used to the sound of my own voice and then one day I won't have to do this because I will be so confident I will be so relaxed I will feel so great because my English will be perfect it will happen one day I know so there it is so now you know that's how you do it if you want to improve your speech the way you speak listen to your voice listen to the way you speak listen to the way you use words and over time it will get better it will improve learning is something you have to do slowly over time you cannot rush learning anything to be honest Leonel hello Leonel Leonel Magi or Magia hello Mr. Duncan hello to you as well is it your first time here I will be with you for another eight minutes eight minutes almost and then I will be gone like a flash I will vanish <laughs> but don't worry I'm back tomorrow from 2 p.m. UK time I'm back tomorrow two o'clock UK time and we have two hours tomorrow the sentence game yeah we love the sentence game we like it we like it a lot we really do and also we have some unusual some strange English words as well coming tomorrow thank you for your company today thank you very much for watching thank you very much for joining me thank you very much for joining in as well so not only joining me but also joining in so if you join something you visit or attend but of course if you actually interact you join in so join in is interact 
you are doing something actually you are doing something that means you get involved you get involved see you tomorrow mr duncan says christian green thank you very much mr duncan thanks a lot and also thank you youtube is very good i think so i love this i love this when i wake up in the morning do you want to know this do you want to know this information i'm going to give you some information when i wake up in the morning i sometimes feel very excited do you know why because i'm going to do this because i'm going to be here with you i can't wait i i really feel excited in the morning i can't wait i wake up with an excitement going right through my body from head to toe i can't wait to be here live on youtube so i will be live on youtube tomorrow back with you tomorrow from 2 p.m uk time and i hope you will be able to join me then i really do thanks for your company today so many things we've talked about a lot of things today to be honest with you we've actually talked about many things i would love to visit england again because half of my family live there in east sussex very nice part of the country east sussex some very beautiful scenery east sussex very nice i always follow your recorded live streams thank you luca thank you also to beatrice thank you very much valentina says tomorrow i am going to the seaside so i won't be here but i will be there on sunday ah okay then tomorrow i'm here also don't forget i'm here on sunday as well and you know what happens on sunday ah, i think we all know mr steve will be with us on sunday as well he will be joining us live as well on sunday see you tomorrow i will be with you again tomorrow from 2 p.m uk time english addict tomorrow so everything will be a little bit more normal <laughs> whatever that is who knows who takes care of your lovely garden paolo hello paolo i will give you a clue it isn't me first of all it is not me i don't take care of the garden it's too much work to be honest there's no way i could do this what time will you start your lesson tomorrow 2 p.m 2 p.m uk time 2 p.m uk time tomorrow i will be with you on youtube with another english addict live stream like that thank you dear friends enjoy your time thank you helena i'm going now we have another two minutes maybe i could have a walk around the garden maybe i can go and say hello to the cow because the cows are coming by shall i say hello to the cows just before i go so i will go over there and i will wish the cows a very good day and i will ask them if they are all right and then i will come back here and say goodbye okay just a moment cows hello 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 hi hello cows are you okay come on The cows are ignoring me. How rude. Rude cows. <laughs> How rude. <laughs> Mr. Duncan, you could be the voice in the train station. It would be very funny, Mr. Duncan. Not so stressful. 
Yes, uh, maybe that, that could be my new career. Perhaps I could work in a railway station as, as an announcer. I announce the times of the trains. Very good. Thank you very much. Thank you, Roxy, Lucia. Thank you very much. I'm about to say goodbye. I hope you've enjoyed today's lesson. We have talked about food, one of my all time favorite subjects. To be honest with you, I could stand here for hours and hours talking about food because I like food very much. Talking of which, after I've gone, I will have a cup of tea with Mr. Steve. Thank you very much. See you tomorrow. Don't forget 2 p.m. UK time tomorrow. Thank you also to Christian, Jade, Sandra, Anna Rita, William, Von Baskerville. Thank you, Wendell, Michael, Alessandra, Valentina, M. Youssef, Luis Mendez. See you tomorrow. Sergio. Sergio Leitao, Sergio Lil, hello Lil, Tomek, naughty Tomek, naughty, naughty, very naughty. See you tomorrow, take care. This is Mr. Duncan in the birthplace of English saying thanks for watching, thank you very much for joining me. A big goodbye from me and also a big moo from the cows. And of course, you know what's coming next until tomorrow, 2 p.m. UK time. English Addict will be with you tomorrow live on YouTube. You know what's coming next. Of course you do, because I do it every time. Ta-ta for now.